Everyone who worked on a game should be in the credits by Luke Blanket. Uh, Deathloop is out and by all accounts is pretty good. It's a shame then that it's also the reason we are revisiting the topic of video games people being weirdly shitty about who makes it into the credits and who doesn't. A number of developers who work on the game, who I won't list here for privacy reasons, have revealed this morning that they are either not in the credits at all or have been lumped into a special thanks category with no mention made of their specific role in test loops creations. As we've discussed here previously, the way video game studio arrange their credits can at times be mysterious and at other times don't write petty. Forrest Lastman's wonderful piece on game credits from last year spelled this out. After looking through the credits of hundreds of games, I found a lawless and unstructured world where nothing makes sense. Rules change from game to game for barely any identifiable reason. Discrepancies in game credits range from minor style issues all the way up to deleted names. Credits are a weird, often harsh world, and there's been a little progress in improving them. What does that look like in action? How about when? Over a thousand people who worked on Red Dead Redemption 2 didn't make the official credits. Many studios have policies in place to only credit developers who were still employed by the studio when the game releases. Over a thousand people who work on Red Dead Redemption 2 didn't make the official credits because of this kind of policy. Rockstar told Kotaku last year that it Rockstar told Kotaku last year that it uses the game's credits in this way because it wants employees to stick it out and get to the finish line, essentially punishing those who leave the studio's culture of crunch. The only confirmation we have that these people worked on the game is a page on Rockstar's website with no details that what they actually did. Even this page Acknowledgement is better than the policies of many studios, which give no official credits to some developers in any way. And now we have it again with Deathloop. Imagine surveying the breadth of efforts that went into making video games and deciding to choose whose hard work to honor and whose to ignore. Predictably, those left out are usually contractors testers, outsourced, studios, and former employees no longer with the company at the time a game ships. Credits are vital not just because they are an acknowledgement of someone's work on a project, but because in the video game industry they can be useful, though not always necessary, for getting work on your next project. Being able to point to a game's credits and say, that's me, is a lot easier than listing a game in your CV. Having a prospective employee, having a pro having a prospective employer check that game's credits and ask, uh, why isn't your name here? If you're a game studio and involved in putting credits together, please include everyone who made the game, regardless of how much admin that requires, even if they lo no longer work there, even if they are a tester, even if they're a contractor or work on at the studios you hired for some outsourcing. They work on the game, they deserve the credit, and not giving it to the them and not giving it to them makes you look like that. For example of on how it can be done right, check out the IGDA's resources on video games credits. 